Mitch, uh, probably not a bad track to bat on, but one that you probably don't want to see too often when you're bowling. Yeah, that's probably one of those tracks where uh, my hammies might get a bit tight if I play here again, so I'll be out of bowling. But um, obviously, it was a good hit out for both teams, um, and both both batting sides got an opportunity to spend some time in the middle, which at the end of the day, it's all these games are for, so um, it was nice. And leading into the test series is to get the red ball out again. It's probably been a while since you've seen that. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's always nice to be playing the red ball again, and I think I speak on behalf of everyone um, with that. So, um, like I said, I think both teams got what they needed out of it, and um, yeah, looking forward to the next few weeks. So, in the wake of the Ashes, what, what are your expectations for the summer? Do you, you know, you, the England series was a little bit all over the place for a few people. Do you sort of come in with a, a simple optimism expectation, or do you uh, just have to start from scratch again? Um, I'm certainly very excited about um, the group that we're going to have. Um, obviously, there's going to be some new faces, which is always very exciting for Australian cricket. Um, and we're still, you know, we're going to go into this series very positive. Um, it's nice to be playing back in Australia again. Um, and every team that comes here knows that they're in for a, a good challenge um, playing in our conditions. So, um, very optimistic. And you see yourself as the uh, number one all rounder now that Shane's given up the, the test stuff. Uh, that falls on your shoulders pretty much. Yeah, well, fingers crossed I'll be there. Um, look, that's, that's a responsibility that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I obviously want to nail down that number, number six spot in, in the test arena and, and hopefully um, this summer is an opportunity for me to do that. But um, I've got to get picked first, so fingers crossed I'll be there. But um, I'm certainly looking forward to this summer. Anything you've been working on specifically since England in terms of the, the red ball cricket? Or are you pretty happy with what you had? It's just a matter of refining a few things. Um, yeah, well, I think obviously um, I learnt some valuable lessons in England. Um, playing without the Duke ball might help a little bit, um, not swinging around the corners, but um, I think for me um, it's just about spending as much time in the middle as I can. Um, and the last six weeks has been an opportunity to work on my body and get that right for what is going to be um, a long summer. So um, I can't score runs and take wickets if I'm not on the park. And you mentioned the Hammies bowling on a track like this. I guess Brisbane doesn't have great memories for you, for, even though it was your, <laughs> uh, you know, a handy first test in Australia last time. Yeah, um, certainly. Yeah, um, obviously that's a, a distant memory now, and I think um, a year on, I'm, I'm hopefully um, even stronger and, and ready to go. What's the feeling around the group when there are so many guys going? Is there a feeling this is a, a new era, almost like the, you've turned a leaf, or is it uh, still some, enough of the uh, guys from the past to make it seem like it's uh, familiar? Um, I think it's a bit of both, really. Uh, I think, like I said, there's obviously going to be some new faces in and around this squad, um, and that's exciting, not only for us as a team, but for Australia and the Australian public to, to come and watch us. So um, I think as a young group you now, we've got an opportunity to start something special, and hopefully this summer is the start of that. And Steve Smith as a leader, how do you see that uh, changing? I see he's had a one-day cup win with New South Wales today. Uh, yeah. He's already had a success on the board early. Yeah, he just keeps winning stuff, doesn't he? It's been a good start for him. Um, look, I'm... As a player, I'm certainly very excited to, be, to hopefully play under him. Um, you know, he's he's a great bloke, um, and he's going to be a great leader for Australia over a long period of time. Hopefully, so um, hopefully his good form can continue for us as a skipper, and um, we can get him under winning ways as, as a Test captain. And just finally, your performance here, did you get enough sort of as many overs as you wanted? Probably not the sort of pitch you wanted, but you bowled as much as you needed to. And Battered a, you know, an hour or so? Yeah, um, obviously any time you get a good cricket wicket you want to bat as long as you can so I would like to spend a bit more time in the middle but there's obviously great for other guys um, who probably haven't batted as much to, to get hundreds and, and push for selection as well so um, and you know from the bowling front um, got some overs out which is what I needed to keep kicking over um, and hopefully I can you know get through Tasmanian, the Tasmanian Shield game this week and uh, perform well there and go from there.